guys, I'm Shannon Rose, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. I just have to say this before you watch any further. There's a huge warning. <laughs> warning, warning. This video, I do some really unsanitary shit. <laughs> If you want to hang out with me while I get ready and do this like fun cranberry eye makeup look, then keep watching. Hello, how'd you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split in two. Hope you're fine, and got time to do everything you said. Here we go. So I'm just taking my L'Oreal True Match and my Beauty Blender and I'm going to foundation on. I've already moisturized and um, primed my face and I'll leave the links to everything that I'm using down below in the description bar. Can you guys believe it's freaking December already? OMG goodness. It's crazy. If you guys know of any foundations that it could even be more expensive than the L'Oreal True Match, this has been like my holy grail favorite. It has the best coverage. It really works for my oily skin. Um, and I have like combination oily dry skin. So if any of you guys know of a cruelty free, like bigger brand, uh, like Tarte or I don't know, something similar that's a good cruelty free product to replace this. Um, let me know. I would definitely want to try it out. Also, I know I said in one of my other videos that um, I really wanted to get the Tarte concealer, but um, I have been so busy with videos lately that I have not had a chance to like order it or go out and get it. But just like the holiday time is crazy to be like doing stuff and I'm not, I haven't like gotten shopping done or anything for like the person I'm getting a gift for this year. I don't know if I told you guys, but well, you might have seen it if you watched my how to save money during the holidays video. Last year on my Instagram, I posted a picture. By the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, what are you even doing with your life, girl? Get on it. Okay, like let's be friends on Instagram. Um, it's just at Shannon Rose. I like my Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, everything's at Shannon Rose. So last year I had posted a picture of my family and like all of our Christmas gifts and it like oh, really made me really sad <laughs> because we had like a ridiculous amount of presents and like there's no small children <laughs> other than like my sister's kids and she lives in Colorado so like we don't do Christmas with her um because she doesn't fly out to, for Christmas with us which I wish she did <laughs> that would be awesome but like there's no small kids like it was just crazy the amount of oh my god do you see like this the eyelash extension struggle Oh my, oh my god, it's in my eye. Oh, can you even see that? Oh my god, please tell me you could see that. Okay, I'm so... <laughs> that just really, like, made my heart, like, pound really hard because that was, like, a huge eyelash chunk of my extensions, like, straight up getting in the eyeball, and that was, like, really scary. Don't worry, by the time you're watching this video, I've already gotten these eyelashes fixed. These are ratchet-ass eyelashes. So the Christmas presents were just insane. I'm using the um, Shade and Light palette by Kat Von D, by the way, with uh, my MAC 116 brush, like oldie but goodie that I like using for under my eye and above my eye. So basically, fucking gardeners, I swear to God. Every time I film, I get ready with me, like the gardeners are real. But always, I always accidentally film on the same day the gardeners come. It's like, it's really my fault. It's not their fault, but I like to complain about it. So let me live my life. Okay, girl. The Christmas gifts were just insane. It made me feel really shitty because like we spend like so much money on each other each year of getting each other gifts and like all these things, which is amazing. Like I'm so grateful that my family is able to do that for one another. But it makes me sad because there's so many people that don't have that and so last year I told my family like we're not doing this next year I'm not participating <laughs> in this like we're gonna do something where we put our names in a hat and then all of us will pick out a name that's the one person we're gonna buy for we have a hundred dollar limit on like what we're gonna buy for them and then the rest of the money that we would have spent that year for Christmas we're donating to charity or you know assembling care packages for hospitals the armed forces um, shelters stuff like that I don't even know where 
like I went off on that tangent. I was going somewhere with it, but I forgot like what started it. So anyway, there goes my memory. <laughs> what am I even doing? I'm like so lost right now. By the way, if you're wondering what's on my nails, um, I just like painted over my nails. I've been so busy with the um, Zoya nail polish in the color Dakota. That's what this is, if you're wondering. Not spawns. How about we set that foundation, okay? Um, I'm just going with my Laura Mercier translucent powder with my beauty blender and getting that ish on my face. Getting that ish on my face. Get on there. Yeah. Can you hear how loud the gardeners are outside? Mm -mm. I want to go out there and be like, excuse me, hi, I'm doing a video. Would you mind just like keeping it down for the next like hour? <laughs> Except for I live in an apartment complex, so I don't think that they would be cool with that. Like, but who are you? Go back inside your apartment, you weird lady. Oh my god, with the gardeners. I'm thinking to do like a cranberry style look. I think it'll be fun for like the holiday season. So I'm going to take this color Bridesmaid by Morphe um, and I'm going to take my Smith 232 brush and I'm going to put this in my crease as a transition shade um, and just blend that out. It's really pretty. So by the time you guys are watching this video, I'm going to be in Colorado at my sister's with my cute little two baby nieces. They're so cute and little. I wish they lived closer to me. Do you guys have family that lives far and you wish they lived closer so you could see them more often? Okay, next I'm gonna take my Sonia, I don't know how to pronounce her last name, my um, Sonia brush. This is in number 112. And I am gonna go in with, ooh! <laughs> Secretive by Morphe. I haven't used this brush or this color yet, so surprise. <laughs> We're gonna surprise ourselves right now. See how we like it. Do we like, do we like the color? Oh, we kinda like, yeah. Yes, we do like. We like the color on the eyes. I don't know why I'm talking like that. <laughs> Whenever I don't take my multivitamin, for like a few days and then I take it, I get like real hyper. <laughs> I don't know what's in it. I think it's like the B12 or something. It just gives me so much energy, it's insane. And it makes me like silly. Now let's blend. Taking my MAC 286 um, tapered blending brush and I'm just gonna blend that in a little bit. I really like this color, you guys. Like this color combination I think is really pretty. Hopefully it's showing up on camera, how it's showing up in person. Um, sometimes it doesn't, but hopefully this does because it was really pretty. Now I'm just taking some of this on this blending brush and like putting it a little bit on the crease to just blend it together even more. Okay, so now I'm going to go into my BH Cosmetics Galaxy Chic Palette. And I'm gonna go into the Aphrodite shade, and I'm just gonna pack that onto the lids to give it a little bit of shimmer shine. Some festiveness, let's get crazy up in here. Woo! <laughs> Sorry if you were wearing headphones, that probably hurt your ears. Now I'm just dragging that same um, Aphrodite color underneath the eyes. I don't know, you guys, it could look like I'm Look like I'm dying after I do this makeup look. <laughs> we never know when you start putting like red cranberry around your eyes. Does it look like a zombie or does it look pretty? <laughs> we gotta be careful here. Okay, so I have been obsessed with the Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter. <laughs> I got on this like bandwagon way late and bought it like way after it was like cool and out and hip and whatever. I mean, it's still popular, but you know what I mean. So I'm going to take this with my MAC 239 brush and I'm going to go into the corners of my eyes to just pop, 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 pop. Pop that highlighter in the corners and then underneath of the brow bone. Okay, now let's do some brows. So I'm using the Anastasia Brow Definer in the color Taupe and I've been liking this. I've been using this for a while now and I like it. 
I'm getting better at my eyebrows, but I think if I use the brow uh, gel, what is it called? Oh my god. <laughs> I have it in like a darker um, color for when my hair was like black, but I don't have like a color now. So I feel like if I were to practice with the the gel like uh, ones that I'd probably get like a cleaner brow, but you girl ain't got time for that. Oh my god, you guys want to hear the funniest story? So I was FaceTiming my mom the other day and I was like, I had just done like, I forget what makeup it was, but I had done like a makeup look and I was really proud of it and I was like, do you like my makeup? She was like, well, mm, I mean the brows are a little dark. <laughs> She kills me. I'm just like, oh my god, mom. Like, she's not like the mom that's like, oh yeah, honey, it looks really good. She's like very honest with me, which I love that she's like that. But sometimes I'm just like, oh, mom. She makes me laugh more than anything. But like, you know, darker, like, thicker brows are like in. So I was just like trying to be trendy. <laughs> and she was like, not having it. My mom is so funny. I'm really close to my mom. I used to not be close with my mom. I think I've told you guys before, like when I was younger and like a teenager, like I hated her. Um, I'm pretty sure she hated me back <laughs> because I was like a monster um, child. Whoa! Uh, what just happened there? <laughs> Clean up on aisle 16. Let's fix this. Nars to the rescue. You know how the girls like do the concealer with like the brush and everything after their brows to like make them on flake? <laughs> I don't even think I have a brush to do that so I need to uh get some more brushes I think. So what I've been doing after I do the um, Anastasia Brow Wiz is I take this um, Gimme Brow by Benefit and I tried this like by itself a while ago and I didn't really like it that much but the other day I tried it after I had done this already and then I feel like it just like makes them a little bit darker and then it is like a gel so it like pushes my brows up to make them look like I have like hairier, bushier brows, which I don't, but I'm pretending with makeup. I kind of like this combination together. Let me know if you guys like it in the comments down below or if it's like, mm -mm, no girlfriend, like just stick with the, the other one. Also, did you guys even see my festive ass sweater I'm wearing? I got Rudolph on my sweater, guys, because I was feeling festive as fuck today. So, you know, hope you guys enjoy that. So in case you guys don't know, I'm doing Vlogmas this year. I'm vlogging every day, but not on my main channel, it's on my vlogging channel. So if you didn't know I have a vlogging channel, go subscribe. <laughs> I would just really like for you to, to come hang out with me on my vlogging channel and come support Vlogmas, okay? So let's get on that. <laughs> okay, can I just like be honest here? How in the world do people get like this part of their eyebrow done well? Because I can't even fucking see that in the mirror, okay? I don't care what angle you put me at, I cannot see that part of my eyebrow and if I'm doing it properly. How do girls get that part of their eyebrow done so well? I don't know. I think there's like a secret and I don't know about it, so can you please let me know what it is so that my brows can be on fleek too? Thank you very much, I appreciate it. Do they kind of look even? <laughs> Let's pretend they do and move on, shall we? Okay, so this is the NYC um, bronzer. I use the same freaking bronzer every time. Don't get too excited. I know you all get real excited when I start putting bronzer on my face. I can see you all up in your screens like, let's see how much bronzer this bitch can <laughs> make herself look real dirty right now. I'm gonna be putting a Santa hat on after this, so I don't really need to be bronzing all up in here. Those roots though, oh my gosh. Heart blitch, bitches, inexposed. I'm just putting this janky ass makeup brush. I, I got it at like Marshalls, I think. Smile, bitch. Okay, I feel like I need to blend some more because I feel like we forgot to blend. So let's do that. We're gonna go in back in with the pop, pop, pop. And we are gonna get that highlight on though. Because <laughs> highlight is very important right now. Tis the fucking season. <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> Jaclyn Hill would be so proud. If you don't know who Jaclyn Hill is, she's like, I think the girl that collabed to like make this. Something like that. Motherfucker, I don't even know. My fucking camera just shut off and I'm real pissed off about it because I was saying some real good shit and you missed it, okay? <laughs> Anyways, I'm putting lashes on. Some ratchet ass ones at that. Please just let it get on there. Kind of on there uh, a little bit right so let's just leave it at that because it's not going to get any better 
That one went on like a dream. The eyelashes are on. I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Um, cream eyeliner and a small angled brush and I'm going to attempt to do some top eyeliner without effing it up. Sometimes I see girls like when they're doing their makeup they do it with this. I hope like you, it's, I'm still in focus but I feel like it might be easier to do it um, if I'm doing it this way so I'm just gonna try and see. Oh yeah it's definitely easier to do it this way. Please god let me be in focus for you guys. The struggle is you only have one hand. I just gone and fucked it up real good guys. That's what happens when I'm like trying to do new things and be adventurous. So we're just gonna have to make this liner a little bit thicker than we originally intended, but that's okay. And don't yell at me for pulling my freaking lid. I know it's not good for me, but I'm not that good at makeup yet. Okay guys, I need to pull that shit off to get a straight line. And you know I'm not even gonna try to do the wing liner. This liner is way thick. All right, now I'm gonna throw on some Tarte Tardius Mascara. I've really been liking this lately. I feel like I want to wet my brush, like a smudge brush, and go in with the cranberry. <laughs> Don't judge me. It's my face. Do you know how long and how hard it is to refocus me, like to for me to get up and go get water right now? I just, I can't, okay? This so that I'm going to let you know if spit works or not. <laughs> We're going to find out right now. It works real good. Do you see this? <laughs> now, this could possibly cause an eye infection because your mouth is like the dirtiest, has like so much bacteria. So don't try this at home, okay? By the way, I'm using the BH Cosmetics um, Aphrodite color right now underneath my eyes in case you're wondering. It's so funny because I always like watch my friends' videos, um, like their makeup videos and stuff. And like they do story times too. But they're always like, oh yeah, PR sent me this and that. And like, it's basically where like the makeup companies will send like a bunch of free makeup product, like their new releases and stuff to like YouTubers to like test out and not test out, but like, yeah, test out, I guess. And like, um, use to like, you know, promote their brand if they like it. And every time I watch like some of these YouTubers, oh my God, it happened again. <gasps> dangerous stay anyways what I was saying was that like I'm always wondering like why do the makeup companies not send me like PR stuff like it makes me kind of sad but then I'm like I think about like my videos and I'm like so inappropriate so inappropriate and then I look at some of their like story times and I'm like yeah pretty inappropriate but then like I spit in my hand to like do my makeup <laughs> and I realize that's why they're not sending me makeup stuff they're like uh -uh, we do not want this ratchet ass hoe like <laughs> promoting our makeup beauty products. Oh, by the way, I'm putting on um, Anastasia ABH and Stripped. I know I've used this like a million times, but I feel like whenever I do like a crazy eye makeup, like I have to really tone down the lips, especially because my lips are so big. Oh my God, I really want to do like this spit thing on top of my eyes, like in the middle. Can we just like do that together? We're getting real close and personal on the internet today. Okay, can we please not tell anybody that I did this? Like seriously. Okay, and I just like want to say that, I mean, I don't want to say, but I'm going to, that I feel like spit probably works better than, like, water. <laughs> I, feel so, I feel so ratchet doing this. It's because I am. But I'm telling you, it's like, the results are worth it, guys. Like, how pretty does that look? Is it worth it, though? What am I missing? Oh, mascara on the bottom. That's what we're missing. Okay, let's do that now. That when you clicked on this video you did not expect to see this type of get ready with me <laughs> okay I think I'm going to put a little bit more of the transition shade I'm pretty sure I use bridesmaid yeah I've had the hardest time filming this video I just want to say <laughs> so I really hope that you could press a thumbs up just for that because the struggle has been real and I'm like literally sweating underneath this sweater. Okay, I think maybe a little bit more highlight. 
So this is my makeup look. I hope that you guys liked it. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope that you guys are having an amazing holiday month. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. Hit the little bell next to the subscribe button so that you get notifications every time I have a new video that comes out. I love you guys. Sending you all my love and all my positive energy. And I hope to see you in my next video. It's my turn. Let's take my pick. Even the straight guys want my dick. You're gonna have to pay if they wanna.